So this morning, I'll be trying out a new mask from The Body Shop. This is their Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Mask. This is being sold as a mask that comforts, recharges, and refines skin texture. Okay, that sounds a little flowery to me. The skin texture thing I understand, but the comfort and recharge thing sounds like marketing. And if you're new here, I try out new masks all the time. They're one of my favorite products to review, and if you'd like to check out my playlist, you can click the card right up there. Also, if you're enjoying this video while watching it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna know more about this mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So this mask retails for $28, but I know I paid a lot less for it because if I can avoid it, I don't pay full price for anything. That's a whole nother video altogether. I think I picked it up for 40% off, 30% off, something like that. And they give you 2.6 ounces of product. And on the Body Shop's website, it says, Sensitive skin doesn't need to miss out on exfoliating face masks with our Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Smoothing Mask. Inspired by ancient Roman recipes, this mask has a creamy porridge-like blend of oatmeal and community trade organic almond milk from Spain. It helps relieve dry, sensitive skin from the feelings of tightness, itchiness, and gently exfoliates to leave skin feeling softer, smoother, and recharged with moisture. It also says suitable for sensitive skin. 100% agree that the product feels gentle on the skin. That's a big percentage. 98% agree skin feels soothed. 95% agree that the skin feels comforted. And the user trials were on 100 women with sensitive skin. It only has 34 reviews on the Canadian Body Shop's website with five stars out of five. So not many people have tried this, but the ones who have tried it seem to really like it. After removing makeup and cleansing skin, use your fingers to smooth on an even layer of mask, avoiding the eye and lip area. Uh, after five to 10 minutes, rinse off with warm water and a muslin cloth and gentle circular motions. Use two to three times a week. Ingredients wise, everything looks pretty good. There is olive oil, which is super beneficial for dry skin because of its fatty acid content. There is glycerin, which is good for skin replenishing. Um, there is oatmeal, obviously, which is good for soothing. There is shea butter, which is a really rich moisturizer and excellent for dry skin. There are probiotics in this mask, which may have anti-aging properties. There is a crap ton of fragrance in this. It's about halfway through the ingredients list, which means there's a lot of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not a person who is like really ultra sensitive to fragrances, but I don't, I don't like fragrance in my skincare. So when I apply this, I think I'm just gonna avoid the area under my nose. But um, yeah, that's definitely something to be aware of if you're looking to avoid fragrance in your skincare. And to apply this, I'm using my little mask spatula. If you're ever looking to pick one of these up, I know e.l.f. makes one for about five or $6. I'll link that in the description box below. But uh, these are great. They just make the whole masking process way less messy. Ooh, yeah, that is crazy scented i don't know why they would do that especially since this one is being marketed towards people with sensitive skin it has this creamy like consistency it really does almost look like porridge yeah i can't even really describe the scent it's very it almost as floral why would you scent an oatmeal mask like flowers The consistency of this one is crazy creamy, especially once it hits the skin. It's almost like, it looks almost kind of like butter. You can see the little bits of oatmeal in this one, but um, I really couldn't feel it when I applied it. I'm really not enjoying the fragrance of this one though. It just, it doesn't seem to match the product that's in the jar. On one hand, I see this oatmeal, creamy almond milk consistency. And on the other hand, I smell flowers the two just don't go together so i'm just going to try and relax for a couple of minutes and enjoy the floral scent and uh hold on hold on hold on let's find out what time it is um okay time is 5 17 so i will see you in 10 minutes all right so this has been on for 10 minutes i don't know this one is weird because it feels nice on but the smell of it is driving me crazy i don't know if it's something i can get past 
The floral scent is not my favorite, but I wanna wash my face and see how my skin looks and feels before I make a decision about this one. So rinsing this one off was easy because it didn't dry down. Um, I could feel the oatmeal exfoliating as I was removing it, but it didn't feel abrasive or anything. I really like how my skin feels with this one. It doesn't feel overly greasy or anything. It just feels nice and soft and moisturized. So much so that I don't think I'm gonna use a moisturizer because I think it might be a little bit too much with all the shea butter that was in this mask. I think I'm gonna to continue to use this one up, but I really can't see myself repurchasing it again because that smell was just a little too potent for my liking. It's too bad too, because I really do like this one. I like how my skin feels. I like how my skin looks. I just can't get past the flower scent. It was just a little too much for me. I much prefer the coffee mask that the Body Shop put out earlier this year. I did a whole other video on that. If you'd like to watch that, you can click the card right there. But if you have any other questions about this mask, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.